Hello everyone, Thomas Turner here at MrThomasTurner.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Webmin using Ubuntu 14.04. I've already got it installed on the system so I'm just going to go straight through it and um, yeah, we're just going to follow the documentation. Alright, so the first thing to do, uh, also if you don't know what Webmin is, Webmin is it is an online um, Let's say it's a web interface for your for your server. Shows all your CPU processes, uh, processes, um, how much CPU power are used, how much SSD, um, no no, how much storage is used, how much RAM is being used, and just within a web interface, and instead of typing commands, you can cancel commands. You can start up backups, internal backups or external backups. You can do much more like that. All right, so today I'm just going to be installing it. Then I might go into the web panel and show you what it's about. All right, so first of all, we run this command: sudo iv. Then you click i, and you got to add this top red uh, res uh, package. So once you've added the top package, you just do db sag commit there. Uh, yeah, you just do that and then you click shift uh, I'm just gonna go down click delete down delete all right and now you click shift and click WQ WQ um, and now you click and now this little command prompt opens now click WQ and click enter so that, that'll save it and now we'll be able to install the package like so so now we just copy and paste wget command now it's just downloaded the files now we're going to update our system with sudo apt get update right now it's just updating the system And then once this is updated, we are going to install Webmin and go to the login page. Alright, now it's installed. And now we need to go to our IP, which is 17. There we go. One thing what you'll have to do is add HTTPS and it'll say unsafe or forbidden. Minutes to load. Oh, wrong IP. So. All right. Yeah. So type in the IP of your VPS or server, and you'll be logging in like so. Uh, there'll be a dialog page just like this saying login. It'll be a little bit more newer. And um, yeah, once you've logged in, use your root username or your main username and user password for your login details and um, as you can see look here I've used 1% right now real memory 25 virtual memory 69 and load disk space 19 and you can see my server and stuff like that so here you can configure backups you can look into the webmin documentation to see how it sets up it's pretty cool I've used it before and it's just like using rsync if you used that before um, but but then you do but then it's just within you know um, this instead it's a bit more easier to use you can have auto boots auto shutdowns cron jobs for scheduled uh, stuff um, here we've got web server we've got our mysql server so look we've got a few different things which you can use yeah, we've got the hard on time stuff like that so anyways i hope you found this tutorial helpful and please comment below if you want any other tutorials or need any help installing this i'm happy to help subscribers and please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll, i hope you have an awesome day and i'll see you in the next one bye